Okay, we're back in uh, Volt White 2, and it's autumn now actually because it's July. So here we go. Um, I still have a few things. Oh, you know what? I swapped out Gyarados for Yamaha because I already have a Water type, and I felt like a Dark type would be a bit more useful, especially since uh, Gyarados isn't great against the next gym. So. Having a ground type would be better, and this thing's adamant, and it has intimidate, so like, I had many reasons to add it to the team. I also wanted to give it strength, but it, I can't actually learn it yet. I think it learns it once it's a uh, Krokorok, and it's holding a Bright Powder, because I didn't really have anything better for it. Um, I think everyone is holding the right items. Oh, you know what? Bright Powder. I can give the Bright Powder to this, and then use Minimize at the same time. Oh, that sounds kind of gross. And then I'll have Yamaha with the, um, with the, 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 uh, EBA light. I can't believe I forgot the name. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I already got both of my encounters in the Desert Resort. I, I just have to make it to Relic Castle. Yeah, oh, oh right, that's true. I got a, um, I got Sigilyph, but I couldn't catch it. I think that's what happened anyways. Okay, let's get moving. I'm just gonna try to train up a Sandial. I think Croc. I think Sandile evolves into Croc Rock at level 25. It's either that or 30, so hopefully I can get Croc Rock sooner than later. But either way, I just have to progress. Oh, come on. I forgot about her. I guess I can battle her token for like the fourth time. At least Yamaha doesn't take sand damage. He copied my dig. Are you serious? I got countered. Okay, stop, please. I think there's a lot to go through in Desert Resort before I can do anything, so we have a lot of trainers to fight and a lot of items to get. I think this is actually a dark type, so I don't think assurance is super effective, but I can try. Yeah. Plus, if I'm faster than them, then insurance assurance isn't very useful. Assurance's power doubles when um, when you go second, oh, of course I can recover. Its power doubles when you go second, so if I, if I go first, then it's just a 50 power move, it's like using tackle. But if I go second, it's actually useful. I leave an expo. Earthquake? Okay, chill out. Let's not get crazy here. This nature powered into Earthquake. I actually like felt my life flash before my eyes. I love Expo. And Chansey. Uh what's this thing gonna do? It's going to Ricky. Oh, of course he's gonna minimize. Oh, come on, don't be like this. Do I have anything that can't miss? He minimized three times. And I landed it. And he still died in the sandstorm. He might just soft boil though. Do I have anything to do with this? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Actually, I'm pretty sure Future Sight can't miss. Or maybe it can. Maybe that's completely wrong. I can still try. Counter! Oh my god. Please don't use soft boils. Of course. I don't really know if there's that much I can do, especially- Oh, Psy Shock is perfect. He can't counter Psy Shock, and it's basically a physical move. I can't believe I actually landed two hits when he minimized three times. If I was that guy, I'd feel super mad. Luckily, it's not me. I would never use minimize. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep Yamaha in the front. 
I'm just gonna try to scour the entire place by going left, right, and slowly upwards. Also, I have Intimidate with Eviolite, so Yamaha is extremely tanky against stuff like this. But it does no damage. And this thing has Seed Bomb. Okay. I guess it's better than Embargo. Dawn I guess I should just stay in against Dawn Pan. It's way scarier than Fan P. It's super helpful that the, um... He heals you right here. I want to go into Yamaha, but I don't want to get hit by a grass type move. Let me just go ahead and use Incinerate. Let's get off the bike actually making it kind of hard to- I have to go around these sand pits on the bike. I really wish I didn't get Sigilyph, because I, I couldn't catch that thing. Star piece. There's a lot of hidden items here. I saw that one, but I'll go back for it. I'm just gonna go I like to find everything. It must be on the other side. Yeah, I think it's through here. Hopefully Yamaha gets Bulldoze. I mean, Dig is still stronger, but I like Bulldoze more. I don't like having to Dig. End of a melee. Um, I don't really have any fighting types. That's actually a huge weakness. I really wish I did. Not any fighting type moves. Just stay in. Actually, this thing's probably faster than me. Let me go for assurance. Oh no, it's just gonna leave. Okay. What's the point of going to melee in the first place? I really hope Georgia gets Aqua Tail soon. I'm sure it should, but I'm not 100% on that. He metronomed him to minimize. He's gonna die to sand, so it's no big deal. Sand plus me having leftovers and not taking damage from sand is like a big difference in outlasting people. I didn't even see her. All these grass types. Please, send me something that Yamaha can fight. Also, it didn't evolve at 25, so I think it is 30. That's okay. I'll have- I'll have Croc Rock before the gym anyways. Or at least I'll try to. Oh, come on. It's missing because it has Sand Veil. Three times, please, Expo. You need to land this once. to heal. Oh, Sand Veil is such an annoying ability. There's a reason they banned it. With Evasion Claws. And he hits five times. Really? Come on, he hasn't even- it's just Sandville. I can't- I have to switch. There's nothing I can do about this. This is the worst. Uh, 
Okay, what a pain. I'm right this, I'm just gonna stay in. This doesn't have Stan Veil, but I still want it dead. I really hate missing. I, mean, I guess that's why I gave Ricky Minimize. I could teach it fling and throw berries at people. Ooh, Firestone. That could be good, useful if I find a Growlithe. Or I could have used it on Eevee, I guess. But I already have Expo, so I don't think I would have anyways. And I can get a Huntail. Let me go ahead and heal first, though, before I fight any more trainers. Hopefully Teddy Ursa doesn't get any crazy moves like Sea Bomb like that fan he did. No, I think it's just gonna use Fury Swipes. Bonita. Yeah, let's go into Georgia. Might as well. I really need them both to get like bulldoze. Hopefully I get the TM soon. Of course I get burned, but the healing lady's right there, so it's no big deal. The lava. Uh, I was thinking about what moves it could have, but at worst it's gonna have like, extra sensory. There's the deep sea scale too, so I could get Gorbis if I want. I'm not exactly sure where I find Clamper on this game, but maybe I'll get it in one of my fishing encounters. I don't know, what next? What's the next city? Mimbasa? I can't fish in Mimbasa. I don't I think I can fish in Driftvale City, so that might be one if I can get one. Uh let's get out of here. I don't wanna get ice punched. Brine? It's not what I expected it to use. Get out of here. Well, he's indoor doesn't matter because he's dead to sandstorm. Oh, okay. Good on you. Belly bird. That can also get strength. Another ice type. This time I'll just go into Sunny D. It's just a swine up. Did I grab the black glasses? I'm pretty sure that guy gives me the black glasses. Now grab the deep sea scale. Maybe he doesn't give me the black glasses. I don't know if I talked to him yet. Okay, I'll be able to get another castle soon. Hopefully I can get a Yaw Mask. Off Sand. Let me go ahead and give that. I guess it's better than... I mean... 
if anything, I'd give it to... Hold on, what's, what's Quag Slider holding? It's holding the leftovers. I'd I could give it to Ricky, but I want him to have the Bright Powder, and I don't want to take the Eevee Light off. That's just way better. I think I'll just stick with what I have. Heart scale. I'm gonna need as many of those as I can based on Volt Light 1. I use so many heart scales. Not that I didn't mean to do that. I'm just gonna focus on training um, Yamaha as much as I can. I really want a proper lock. Let's not do that though. Anticipation forewarn. Like anticipation doesn't even doesn't even tell you what move they have. They just they, they just shudder in anticipation. It's so very unuseful. Oh, there's bulldoze. Hey, I, I didn't actually mean to call it this early. It's only 60 power, but I still prefer it using it over Dig if I can, and it's definitely better than Sand, uh, sand Tune. Um, I think I will replace Dig with it on Quagsire though. Yeah, that's that's okay. Like, why go for 180 power move when I could go for 260 power moves? This has Levitate though, but I do have Assurance. And now I have Levitate. I already got my Intimidate off, so thanks for that, I guess. And a Ball Toy. Too bad he can't use any of his attacks on me because I'm immune to Ground and Psychic now. This should be faster than me. Please hit me once with something. It's not even faster. Ow, that did a lot. But it was a crit, so it's instead of this assurance. I think crit breaks through Eviolite, so that's why they did so much. And I'm getting crunch now. This guy's name was Future. Psychic Future. Like the rapper. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... No, I actually really like the intro link thing. Okay, let me just go ahead and- oh, crap. I didn't think this guy would be a trainer. Okay, right after this guy, I can go fight. That other girl's name was Future, and this guy's name is Tommy. I feel bad for Tommy. Yamaha is probably getting a little too overleveled. Eh, no, it's not that bad. I'll just try training the others first. He's going to make it to Krakorok, there's no rush. Okay, let's get something good, please. Bullet. I'm okay with that. I'm happy with that, actually. The bullet's a great Pokemon. I don't really need another ground type, so Yamaha would probably be a bit better, but... I definitely shouldn't be mad. And hey, I actually remembered to use my quick balls. The automaton Pokemon. Uh, what do I name this? I wanted to name it something like a Transformer. But, I can't really think of any that I care to use. Whatever, I'll name it Megatron. 
I mean, I feel like Meta Megatron would fit like a Metagross a bit more, but whatever. Okay, I think we can actually go down in Relic Castle like earlier. I'm just jumping down here for the items. Ooh, another heart scale. See, that's exactly why I came down here. Actually, really high level here. We go for your future site. Let's see how much Psy Shock does to it. Yeah, Psy Shock is pretty good at dealing with psychic types, actually, but they usually have low defense. Yeah, like this Kadabra, which is gonna get future sighted and then also Psy Shock. It should die to this. Wait, was that not the round? Oh, maybe it didn't count the round where, um, where Splunk was dead. I think it went when I killed Splunk, so it didn't actually hit the Kadabra. Definitely feels good having healing items now. Nice magic bounce. I'm so glad I have magic bounce. And Gastly. Uh, if there's anything I would stay in on, it would be this. I should've gone into Expo and used Extra Sensory. Ow. This ninja's running out of side shocks. Let me switch. Let's go into Zot. Or, let's go into Jiggle Jump, but this is not too. Me first, he's gonna strength me. Me first is actually a really cool move. I wish a few more Pokemon got it. I like using it. Aqua Tail. Here's my power spike. I don't think I need return anymore now that I have this. Just switch. I still have Espeon in the front. Oh well, I guess this thing's just gonna have to get Psy shocked. I wish Sunny D had a little bit more coverage. I think it learns Weather Ball, that'd be nice. I don't know if, um, I mean, I, I have Chlorophyll, which is good in the sun, but I'm not sure Sun Chlor is really fast enough to even make use of Chlorophyll. I think its speed is normally 30, so then it doubles to 60. That's still bad. But, I don't know, he might have changed his uh, Sun Chlor's speed. But, the it would be nice to have a uh, Weather Ball. Did I just get a uh, Rock Tomb? Why is it 80 accuracy? Can someone tell me that, please? Why do I need that? I already have the team for SmackDown. It's like the same thing, but way better. Is that all that's in here? I think that's it. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, I guess that's everything for Desert Resort. I completed that a lot faster than I thought I would. Down my way, please. I feel like the Desert Resort in Relic Castle is a lot less substantial in Black 2 and White 2. At least for now, until I can actually explore Relic Castle. Oh, you know what that is? Um, it's because the entire castle is buried. Usually more of the castle is showing, but I think after the years it's been buried. Okay, let me just try to hit the Nimbasa then. Actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna end the episode here. Um, I'll be back next time, this is a good stopping point. I'll head straight to Nimbasa City next time. Maybe I'll fight Alessa. Maybe not, though, because I think there's still a couple more routes I can do before doing that, so I'll probably get that done first. Yeah, come back for that route. See you next time.